Hey guys, what's going on? This is Royella with Kitty Bit. And Sashimi. And it is that time of the week. We have brand new quests. Well, a new quest. And unfortunately, we're back to the dreary, regular old gathering hub. Our festival decorations are gone. Sad day. I'm standing like this because I thought it was kind of funny that standing on this step, you end up looking like you're pointing at the at the table. For oh, now. Put the chicken nuggets on the table now! <laughs> anyway, guys, speaking of feasts and food, we are here to talk about the brand new hunting quest that just came out called, what is it, like, Yodeling in the Forest? Yep, Yo Yodeling in the... I don't know if this is ancient forest or just forest. Let's see. But this is a yodeling in the forest. brand new one. I guess Yodeling really makes the monsters mad because apparently if you yodel you end up with uh, these five beasties. We are going to be doing this. It's a Hunathon quest. It has been a while since uh, I've seen one of these in, in uh, since what, the Sapphire Star? Hmm. But this is a big one. I uh, used to see these kind of quests all the time in Older Monster in a game, so I'm glad to see it here now. Uh, we're going to be after an Anjanath, a Rathalos, Nargakuga, Yangruga, and a Rajang, and... This uh, quest has actually been confirmed by Capcom. It said on their Twitter, do this quest if you want gold crowns. They didn't specify. I don't think they specified anyway. No, I don't think so. If it was gold large or or small. So we, I'm hoping we can expect both ends of the spectrum. See some ridiculously small monsters and some big ones. And it also says under the description there, for it's a good boon for research. So this is like the new Iceborne research for the Iceborne. Yep, for sure. If you are looking for research, getting working on any of those achievements, trophies, whatnot, go ahead and throw on a little bit, maybe a slot with a gem. Some, uh, I think it's a Wavarian Scholar. Uh, that one is good for research. Uh, I guess we're going to start at Camp 1 and see what we find, and we'll show you guys the monsters as we find them. We're going to do the quest twice, see what kind of sizes we get, and we're going to look at the end of the fight so you guys can see what kind of crown potential we're looking at. We'll be back. All right, so starting off, we have found Anjanath here in Area 8. Looks... Oh, yeah, that is hefty. Yeah, looks pretty tall, so... All right. We'll be back when we get to the next one. All right, we've got Narga here milling about the roots of the tree. He looks maybe small, if anything. It's kind of normal. I always forget that he can hit you while going through that. Maybe a little bit on the beefy side. Really? Twice? <laughs> I'm paying too much attention to the monster. Alright, so next up's going to be Rathalos. Alright, hanging out up in his nest is Rathalos. He looks like a really big one. I wish he'd land so I could get that. Here's the hunter by the thigh side. All right, next is going to be Garuga. All right, we found Garuga now. Let's take a look at his size, hopefully without irritating him. It's usually pretty small, but I don't know. It doesn't look... Those thighs look pretty pretty normal. Not too thick. Not too thick. We'll see at the end results. And here we are at the end of the road with Rajang. He's... Looks pretty normal, really. Let's see. Alright, so now with the rewards. From a rewards perspective, it honestly looks pretty solid. There's a, some decent rewards in there, so not too bad. Definitely would be good for an easy Rajang if you need. Since he's got so little HP. And I just skipped right past the crowns. Can you look at them real quick? All right, so after first try, um, turns out I didn't skip the, the sizes. They just didn't match up to any of the ones we've already gotten. We've only got gold crowns, smalls, and larges on both Anjanath and Rathalos. So that Rathalos might have been a small on the small end of the gold crown larges, but I'm thinking not. So, But no crowns whatsoever for the Nagakuga the Yangaruga, or the Rajang. So let's do it again and see if we get any crowns this time. 
All right, so at the end of our second one, uh, we've got a gold crown smallest on Yangaruga at 1250.11. And that was my largest Narga, but not a crown. Yeah, her Narga was 2163.66. So I guess we're going to do one more run and give this one last go. Alrighty, so for our third run, I got my smallest Rajang. He's not a crown, unfortunately, at 771.07. Uh, Sash, however, uh, I don't that's, know what you got. Uh, that's the smallest Anjanath that I've fought, and it was a gold crown small, but I guess you fought smaller because it didn't come up as a crown for you. Yeah, strange. I don't have a crown, so unfortunately it's kind of hard to track these when you've already got gold crowns mm -hmm. on some of them. But we have seen some small crowns. Uh, so far, pretty no... sure that first Rathalos we fought must have been at least a silver crown. He was gigantic. So if it looks like the crowns will show up on the small side of the spectrum as well as the large mm -hmm. side, even if you're not getting crowns too fast, that's still what we've seen already in three runs is more than what I think you'd see normally anyway. So this is actually even if you're not getting the crowns, this is a really great quest for hunter rank if that matters yeah. to you anymore. But master rank, we've been getting a steady two master ranks every every uh, levels every single time we do the quest so it's really really solid for that yeah and these monsters have very bottomed out hp pools because there's five of them um it's about four to six minutes per kill for us so that means you guys and probably team dark side will be knocking it out in like four minutes flat uh you're looking at the most of most of your time in the quest is going to be mostly chasing the monsters around the the forest yeah, so if you can track them down really fast, you could probably get it done in about 20 minutes. Yeah, you could even probably split up, uh, if you got a team of four, you could probably mm. split up and solo monsters to make it even faster. So, Well, alrighty, guys, if you are out for crowns, uh, research, this is definitely a big one. There's so many footprints out there, all the monsters leave a ton of them, and um, I wouldn't count on breaking parts too much. They have so little HP that they weren't really breaking that well. Mm -hmm. uh, Horns and easy parts are easy, are coming off easy, but yeah, I wouldn't count too much on that. But if you're looking for any of these monsters like Rajang and really easy to drop Rajang, it's great. You, and you get a pretty good amount of wards, so. Alrighty, guys. Hope this has helped you guys out. Good luck with your farming. I hope you have a little bit better runs on, or a little bit better luck on the crowns than we have these first few runs. But still, I think the crowns are still more common than any of the others, so. It's a really good one for these guys, as well as Master Rank and Hunter Rank. Yep. Alrighty, guys. If you are new to the channel, likes and subs, all that stuff is up to you. What we do ask for around here is that you consider, if it's within your means, adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options. If you can't bring one home, then there's, due to allergies, living conditions, there's other ways you can help those animals in need. What are some of those? You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes, so you can use all that kind of stuff. Yep, so if you've got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to do that, and unfortunately, there's plenty of animals in need of that love, so. Guys, speaking of love, we love you, and remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. This is Raylo. And Sushini. Have fun and happy hunting with this quest, guys. Happy hunting. Yo lo lo lay hoo.